Welcome back to Coffee and Cocktails. As always, my name is Thomas. Yes, we're in a new setup. We transitioned from the camera moving over there to the camera being towards the kitchen here. The old setup is where we have now our coffee. We have espresso machines and a bunch of different pour over methods. We'll have some videos coming out, and some coffee recipes. Super excited about that. In the meantime, we have our bar now set up in our kitchen with all of our things here, easy access to the refrigerator and ice maker, so on and so forth. But even though we're in a new space, we're going back to the book, Booze and Vinyl. I'm feeling some UK rock. So let's look at the album, London Calling by The Clash, released in 1979. We're gonna make two drinks today. The classic gin and tonic, genres as a rebellious call to storm the streets full of angsty howls, screeches, and blasting guitars. This force of an album's apocalyptic spirit is uncontainable. It evokes twilight of civilization, so meet the end of the world with a style and a plot and a G&T. So, let's make the cocktails, put on the record, prepare for the end of the world. Your classic gin and tonic starts with a rocks glass filled with ice. Pour it straight into there. We have two ounces of gin topped with some tonic water, about three ounces or so, and garnished with a lemon milk. It's built. Two ounces of our Patrick gin. Topped with some tonic water. We're using Polar today. Doesn't matter really what brand you use, but get some quality tonic water. You can measure this if you want to, but I'm just gonna pour right into the glass. Give it a little stir. And garnish with the lemon wheel. Placing that right on the edge. And then you have the classic gin and tonic. Cheers. So you can also use a uh, lime in this. Um, I prefer a lime, but this book called for the lemon. So you can give a squeeze of uh, that citrus in there. That's really gonna pair well with the uh, tonic water. I'm just gonna give those botanicals that also is in the gym. So to go with your classic UK rock, get your London dry gin and have a gin and tonic. Moving on to our next cocktail. It's more of a shot. It's called the end of the world. It's gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> Let's build. So this shot is very simple. No need for all the fancy garnishes, for all the fancy stirs or mixes. Just the end of the world, right? So we have a half ounce of our vodka, we have half ounce of a high proof rum, half ounce of whiskey. Put it right in a shot glass, take it to the head. Let's build. I'm gonna start with our vodka. I have a big bottle of Kettle One, just a half ounce. Half ounce of whiskey, Old Forester. half ounce of a high proof rum. This is a Smith & Cross Jamaican rum um, at 57% alcohol, so it has a little kick to it. Simple enough, take it to the head, it's the end of the world, everybody. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, that shot, that shot hurt. I would rather do that first, kind of excite my body, warm me all up, and then finish as I sip on my gin and tonic. So that's really gonna put you out. It's called the end of the world for a reason. But 
you guys are in an angsty mood, put on some classic London rock, The Clash, London Calling, make a cocktail, cheers. <laughs>